Anyway, while Bob and I had a hunting lease up on a Missouri line for five years we had it. It was a paradise for deer and turkey. It was unreal. We built a little cabin up there on it. Well, after about the first or second year, my Bob brought Sylvia up there. That's when I first met him. And I guess Bob had popped Sylvia up pretty good about what a good shot I was. Anyway, I built a big old picnic table there out of slabs and stuff that I got from the sawmill there that was abandoned. And one evening, Bob was sitting over on the stuff, and Sylvia was sitting on a block of wood over there. And I'm, I'm working on, nobody ever did any cooking up there with me. I had to do all the cooking. They couldn't boil eggs, you know, or make coffee either. And uh, anyway, while Sylvia gets up and goes to his truck and gets his automatic 22 out, and he brings it over and he lays it down on the end of that, that picnic table where I was working on dinner. Picks up a Coke can or something there and goes down there about 15 yards and kind of a yard, an old house place where we camp. Puts this Coke can up and forks this tree with the open end of it facing this away. I'm looking, oh, what's going on here, you know? I guess he's going to practice a little bit. Anyway, I'm still working my dinner. And comes back up there and gets $10 out of his bill phone. He lays it down there beside his gun. And he turns around to me and he said, Glenn, I understand you're a good shot. I said, well, you know, I have been. I'm probably not too good anymore. He said, if you've got $10, we'll shoot that hole in that Coke can down there. And whoever hits that hole, puts the bullet out the back of that can, gets the ten dollars. I said, fine with me, Phil. I don't look like we're too complicated. I said, I think I've got ten dollars. I pull my bill fold out and I got a ten dollar bill out. And Bob was sitting over there on that block of wood, grinning like a summer possum, you know. And I said, now, Sylvia, you know, before I put my ten dollars down there for this bed, I want to know what the rules are. I said, are we going to shoot at that can from the shoulder like, you know, everybody else does, which would be pretty easy, or I said, we're going to shoot from the hip. His mouth fell open, he looked at me, picked up his $10 and turned around to Bob, and he said, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple days later, they get ready to leave. I'm still staying up there. I usually stay two or three weeks. You couldn't run me off as long as the turkey could gobble, you know. They got all loaded up and they got in the truck and pulled out the upper driveway, started out the upper driveway, and all of a sudden the truck just stopped and Sylvia got out, reached behind the seat and got his automatic 22, walked down there and handed it to me. He said, hold this a minute. He got a Coke can and threw it out there on the ground about 15 yards out there, and he said, I got to see this before I leave. And I said, what is it you want to see? So I want to see you hit that can out there with my 22 from my hip. And I said, oh, really? I said, how does this thing work? He said, that's a safety right there. He said, all you got to do is push that in and pull the trigger and it'll go off. And I said, oh, really? Like this? And I went, pow, pow, pow. I hit it twice. <laughs> he walked over and picked it up and said, Bob, look at that. He said, he hit it in the end first, then he hit it in the sides. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>